Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. I am so excited to bring you guys today's video in partnership with The Good and the Beautiful because I am going to sit down and share with you my thoughts, my opinions, uh, as well as a few sneak peeks at their brand new uh, release of Health and the Human Mind. This is their brand, their most recent release for a science unit and it is it is probably one of the best they've ever done. And so I wanted to really sit down and share a little bit of a heartfelt, you know, reason why this unit I think matters so much as well as show you a little bit of what's inside so you can get a feel for it. Um, but this, this unit deserves some time on my channel because of the topic that it's talking about and because I have used many curriculums in the past. Remember, I have two high schoolers who have uh, already received a health credit for their high school health course. And I can tell you that this unit is filling a very big gap in, in what needs to be taught. Um, so I wanted to sit down and chat with you guys about that. So we are going to jump in. Um, and you know, if you are looking at what science unit you should do next, I think this video might help. Like I mentioned this is the brand new science unit. It is called Health and the Human Mind. This is a science unit study from the good and the beautiful for grades three through eight. Now I really want to pause right here and talk about this beautiful cover, number one, but number two, there really is no other curriculum company that I have experienced and I've done health units and different things like that that has really gone into the depths that they go with the health and human mind unit. I think this information in here is so valuable and so important that I am just so thankful to the good and the beautiful for creating this uh, unit. So I'm gonna go over the table of contents with you guys so that way you can understand what topics, because obviously health in the human mind could go hundreds of thousands of directions, but this is what they are going to be discussing, what you are going to be discussing and teaching your children if you choose to use this unit. So. The first one is understanding the human mind and the nervous system. The second lesson is on the brain. The third lesson is on your eyes and vision. The fourth lesson is on your ears and hearing and obviously how that all correlates through your, um, through your brain and your nervous system and different stimulation and all of those things. Uh, lesson six, or I'm sorry, lesson five is on mouth and taste. Six is smell and the nose. Seven is the brain stem. Lesson number eight is on memory and emotions. Lesson number nine is on social health. Lesson 10, emotional health. Lesson 11, connecting with nature. And then lesson 12 is on healthy habits. So that is what they are going to be um, what the unit contains as far as information goes. Now, even though it says grades three through eight, I love using these units in my morning basket. And sometimes I have my older kids who are in high school listen in. I did it with our safety unit this year. I did it um, with a few other units because I just felt like they could really benefit from the information as well. So if you have older kids um, that are a little bit above that level eight, I mean, they can listen to the lessons and still benefit. And so I'm definitely gonna have my older kids listening in on this because they have covered some of these topics in their health courses that they've taken um, that were, you know, like a full, uh, uh, full credit for high school, but good habits, mental health, all of those things, very important. And so I want them to listen in on this as well. So when you purchase your unit from the good and the beautiful, the student journals come like this. Now there are two different versions. There's the one that's grade three through six and the one that is grade seven through eight that contains all of the lesson extensions that are meant to help older children dig deeper into the subject matter. Now, my youngest daughter is in the fifth grade and she has been 
doing the good and the beautiful science lessons since she was literally in kindergarten. So, you know, I always like to get the grade seven through eight student journal and uh, the three through six for her. She's going into the sixth grade, she's in the fifth grade now, but she did the, the seven through eight lesson extensions um, for our last science unit, which was Simple Machines in Motion. Highly recommend that one. Um, but I like to get them both for her. So uh, the student journals hold all of the sheets that your kids will be instructed to reference and they are bound and all kept in one place now. So you do not need to get the folder, um, beautiful colored images and uh, they're very age appropriate and fun to look at. So this is the one from grade three through six. It's obviously going to be a little more simple. Grade seven through eight does look almost the same. It's just going to have um, a spot for extra notes as well as um, a spot for the obvious lesson extension, which is just about a page to read and a place to write more information, more in depth on whatever the lesson of that day was. So it's not like they're, they're needing to do an entirely different thing. It's just a little deeper. So to go along with your student journals, there is an optional book pack that I always really like to buy that go with the science units that I just add into my morning basket, my morning cart, and we really enjoy um, reading them. So this book pack is a book called uh, A Penny for Your Thoughts, and it is a, the Good and the Beautiful original publication. So I love that. A Penny for Your Thoughts, on the back says perfectionism, overthinking, low self-esteem, and pressure to please others. Tilly experiences all these thoughts during her first day at choir camp. She wonders if she should even go at all. However, with the help of her mom, Tilly decides to make some goals so she can work through the stress. It is hard at first, but Tilly learns how powerful her mind can be. So like I said, older kids need to know this too. And so I just think this topic is so important and it is not talked about enough. And a lot of health courses just address like mental illnesses, diagnosable ones, um, at, at least in the high school level. It doesn't really talk too much to the, to the student who is let's say typical normal, um, just dealing with everyday things versus someone who has, you know, diagnosable schizophrenia or something like that. And so I am so thankful that the Good and the Beautiful made a unit like this to help us teach our kids about these things. Um, the next book that comes with the optional book pack is the amazing thing called Memory. This is another original publication by The Good and the Beautiful, and this is going to talk about how we recognize faces we've seen before or remember what we wore yesterday. The amazing thing called memory answers these questions and more as it explores brain function, anatomy, fascinating facts, and case studies of individuals with memory challenges. And then the third book is the addiction question and answers books. Um, this is a topic that is very near and dear to my heart. Um, if you've been around my channel for a while, you understand uh, why. Now I'm not going to go into all of that here, but addiction is something that impacts a lot of families. Even if it hasn't impacted yours specifically, it has definitely touched the lives of someone you know, someone that is close to you, and you never know how it might touch the lives of your children in the future. So one of the best ways that we can help our kids um, in this area of addiction is to teach them how addiction begins, how it starts, how it, how your brain, um, you know, operates when you are an addicted person. And that can really help children have empathy for those people that they may come in contact with in the future. It also may help them um, make really good choices for themselves if it's something that runs in the family. Um, so addiction is something that needs to be talked about. There's substance addiction, uh, addiction to pornography, just all these things that we can become addicted to, social media addiction, um, just all the things. And so this book is um, says addiction to substances and certain activities can have serious and devastating effects on a person's life. 
through 36 commonly asked questions and easy to understand scientific explanations, this book teaches children and teenagers to recognize these addictive substances and activities, understand the physical and mental health dangers of using or engaging in them, and honor themselves as God's divine creations by keeping their bodies free from addictions and substance abuse. This is another publication of original publication of The Good and the Beautiful. So I wanted to share this with you guys. It's been a long time since I got on my channel and did like a flip through of a new release from The Good and the Beautiful. And really there's no other reason than I can just, I can only make so many videos, but I wanted to highlight this because this is so important. And like I said, there are no other curriculums out there that go um, into this topic as delicately and as truthfully and as scientifically, uh, you know, and you, it's not scary, it's not alarming, it's just really wonderfully done. And I really think that we can do a lot of good by teaching our kids this topic using that additional book pack. I would definitely recommend it. I would not do this unit without that book pack. And I would even recommend making your older kids listen in at least, engage in discussion with them on this topic. You can never talk about it enough, uh, but you can definitely not talk about it enough. And so I just wanna encourage you guys as homeschoolers and as moms, even if you do not homeschool, to utilize this resource to teach your kids this important information. So I will have a link down below directly to this science unit if you're looking for next year, add this to the top of your list. If you need a fourth quarter science unit for your homeschool, you're like, we've done a bunch. What should we do next? Do this one next. Uh, you will not regret it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions for me, post them down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. And thank you again for supporting my channel all of these years. And I hope that this video was a blessing. I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye friends.